Hi guys and welcome to our channel. Today we have a Peppa Pig sticker dispenser. We're going to have some fun. First we're going to show you the box. Here it is. And here's all the different pieces. Look at all these stamps. The markers. And we have this right here has a roll with the stickers on it. So we can have a lot of fun. And on the side it tells us all our pieces. So let's get this box open. Here's all our pieces. So first I'm going to show you this. This is the sticker dispenser. You have a roll of sticker paper. So it's paper but it has sticky stuff on the back and you roll it like that. See? So we'll be able to put prints here and then be able to roll it out and make a sticker. It has a little drawer right here, and inside this drawer, very important, is some scissors. And these scissors are not sharp, they won't cut you. They should cut this right here, the paper for the stickers. Next, we have markers. Lots of pretty colors. Then we have this right here, and that is an ink pad, and it has Peppa on it. And this ink pad is so that we can use the stamps. And let's see, there we go. And it just has a little piece of foam with some ink on it. So we'll be able to use that with these. Now this is a wooden outside rubber stamp. It's a rubber stamp and then it has a piece of wood here where we can push down. Now I stack the other ones because I want to wait until we use them and then you guys can tell me who everyone is. But I wanted to show you one of them. And they have a neat little imprint on there. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but it is Candy Cat. And last, I'm gonna show you this. This is the little Peppa notebook. And basically, it just has um, paper in it, so you can also stamp this with the rubber stamp. So maybe we'll try this first. We'll practice and um, see how these rubber stamps work. Let's get started. Okay, let's see how these rubber stamps work. We're gonna start with Candy Cat. Open this. We're going to press her into this ink. Oops. <laughs> We're going to press her into this ink. And let's see how she does. Press real firmly. Well, there she is. There's Candy Cat. So that did work pretty good. Now I'd like to try one more on the notebook. And then we'll get started with the stickers. Now I'm not going to show you who this is. I want you guys to see if you can figure it out after I stamp it on the paper. I'm trying to cover it. Here we go. Put it right here and go back and forth. Press it good. I think that turned out pretty good. Who is that? It looks like Peppa Pig. <laughs> now they don't have any dots in her eyes, so I guess if we're gonna use that stamp, we're gonna have to color her in some eyes. All right, now I know I've used two of the rubber stamps and we're getting ready to start the sticker, so I'm gonna use another one. I have no idea who this is, so we're gonna be surprised at the same time. Push it down really good and we're gonna make a sticker. Or we're gonna try to. Here we go. I hope it's the right direction. I forgot about that part. I think it actually goes this way. Find out. If not, we'll have to just turn it around. One, two, three, lift. 
It's Emily Elephant. <laughs> I see that. See how it turned out on the sticker. Well, it turned out okay. It gave us an outline. Maybe we need to color that one in using our markers. Now I think Emily Elephant is gray, if I remember. So let's see if we color her in gray. Guess we should color in the mouse too, huh? We better color him in light so he doesn't lose all his little facial features. There we go. So I went ahead and closed the ink pad because I don't want that to dry out. And then I think I need a little pink for Emily's cheek and a little yellow for her dress. Let's see if this will be the right colors. All right, Emily Elephant. That's not too bad for our first try. What do you guys think? I missed a little spot with the gray on her eye. I see that. Fix that real quick, and then we're gonna cut this sticker out. These markers actually bleed a lot past where you color, so you gotta be real careful. I think the paper that's the stickers are made on are just, it's really, really thin, so it makes it bleed. But when it dries, it'll all look the same. Right now, it looks like Emily's crying. Hey. But that'll dry. Okay. If you remember when we started, Emily was a lot darker and it lightened up. Now, let's see. We've got our little scissors. Let's see how this works. We're gonna roll the sticker down. Roll, roll, roll. Okay. Now let's see if these scissors work. Yeah, they're not real sharp, but they cut it. There she is. I think it's time for another sticker. So let's go for another stamp. Let's pick this one this time. We're also going to put our sticker that we've already made. We'll put it over here. Open this up. We're going to put the stamp down on here. Push really hard. And let's try for another sticker. This is the right way, hopefully. Who are we gonna have this time? And, oh, well that one showed up okay. That wasn't really that great. Can you guys see that? It's Peppa Pig and she's holding a ball. That didn't show up really well, and I really can't do it again, or it might mess it up even more. So maybe I'll try to trace that one, and that way we make an outline for Peppa. So I traced Peppa, and actually it wasn't that bad. I could see everything except right in the middle. So the next one I do, I need to make sure I push really hard down in the center. So really her mouth, and just this little part of her cheek and her face was the only part I missed. Now it's time to color Peppa in. So let's go for the pink. I'm gonna do the darker pink in her cheek. She has rosy cheeks. And then light pink for the rest of Peppa. Not a lot of difference in that color, is there? <laughs> there will be when it dries, though. 
Try not to go over that blue because I'm sure it'll bleed if I do. What do you think, guys? I think it's time for another sticker. Which one, which one do I choose? Oh, uh, let's do this one. Open the ink pad again. Now this time I'm gonna make sure I push really good on the top, bottom, and in the center. Who could it be? It's Danny Dog. See how well he showed up. Looks like we might be tracing Danny too. So here's our Danny Dog. I'm gonna get really good at drawing Peppa characters with this toy. <laughs> okay, now Danny Dog has a purple outfit and this is actually the closest color we have to purple. It's a royal blue or a bright blue, but it kind of looks purpley. So I'm going to go ahead and color his outfit in with the same marker that I colored him. These really are good markers. I just think that, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it soaks into that paper that's over the sticker. Almost too well, I think. So does that kind of look a little purple? It's more blue, but I think Danny looks good in blue. Now it's time to color him in, and he's kind of a grayish brown, but since we already used gray for Emily, let's go for brown. Now his nose is black, but I'm not sure we're gonna be able to see much of difference between that dark brown and this black. All right, I let Danny Dog dry just a little, so the brown did lighten up. see his nose. I did go ahead and color in his little pink cheek and the ground green. And while I was waiting for Danny to dry, I went ahead and colored in the first two stamps that I did. There's Candy Cat and there's the other Peppa Pig. So they turned out cute. They do just as well on paper as they did on the sticker. Actually, in a way, it does a little better because the paper doesn't soak up the ink like the other does. All right, Danny Dog, it's time for you to get out of there. The other way, besides using the scissors, these scissors don't work really great, is you can actually hold it right here, and if you tear carefully, you can just lift. looky there and it tears really really well I don't know about you guys but I think this is a really cute Peppa Pig playset that you could have hours and hours of fun with thanks so much for checking out our channel and watching us open and play with this Peppa sticker dispenser playset we had a lot of fun if you did click the like button and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching